Ron Hart combines biting humor, satire, and a whole lot of painful truth to make the news of the day entertaining as well as enlightening. He recently wrote that President Obama took out Osama bin Laden, President Trump took out top Iranian terrorist Qasem Soleimani, but not to be outdone, President Biden and his PC police got Mr. Potato Head Pepe Le Pew in the cat in the hat. <laughs> Please welcome syndicated columnist Ron Hart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I never miss reading your columns. They are the, they're the best in the country going on right now because they're funny. So are you just a naturally funny guy? Uh, naturally uh, cynical, maybe. <laughs> yeah, kind of funny, I guess. Yeah, you look at the absurdity of Washington and you do it from the right side of the ledger, it's not very hard to make fun of them. It's crazy. I mean... It is crazy. What's yeah. happened to this country? Well, they got rid of Mr. Potato Head, right? So yeah. he was a, kind of a uh, gender neutral, uh, mustached, kind of a expressionless face person, you know? It could have been a host of The View. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just, and so these, these potatoes are really getting, you know, and, and they're going to change. You know, of course, you got Idaho potatoes. Yeah. You're going to have to change that name because they're. they're <laughs> There were loose women in, in, named Ida. They aren't going to like that at all. You know, so. Well, one thing about it, I mean, they're clearly baked. There's right. no doubt about that, right? <laughs> like, you, got, you got a situation now, like, you got, uh, you know, these bands. Dixie Chicks. Everybody loves the Dixie Chicks. You used to, I guess, yeah. at some point. And then you got your, uh, you got your band, uh, you got uh, Alabama, of course. And you got Lady, Alaba Lady Annabellum, changed yeah. her name. So Alabama... Right. It's just a matter of time. They're going to have to change their name to Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> I know those guys, and I love them. And I want to tell you something. They will They'll never do that. Good for them. They are, they are too real. They're I love them. they fat off of royalties. Then it's and they Scott deserved Bales, every penny of it for sure. God bless you. You also talked about this ridiculous interview that the royals, Harry and uh, Meghan, had with Oprah. Yeah. Uh, I, I love your characterization that here we're a billionaire interviewer and two people who are royalty talking about how tough their lives are. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough, right? You know, you got Woko Yono, you know, <laughs> she, broke, she broke up the Beatles and broke up that. So, you know, Harry, I didn't know. I didn't know he could be oppressed. I didn't realize that. I mean, <laughs> how do you, I mean that, that tells you about Hollywood. When you go to Hollywood, the, the highest form of endearment is to be oppressed, right? You yeah. aspire to be oppressed. It's hard having things. I, mean, I like celebrity every now and then, like you, you seem to be that way. Like, hey, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> It's yeah. a pretty good ride. <laughs> Listen, like, I knew how I grew up, Ron. I was, <laughs> you know, catching chickens when I was a kid. Anything beats that. So I'm quite happy doing what I do. I'm not impressed. Too. What's the gratitude? You know, there's, you know, Tony Bennett's made a great career of having gratitude. Yeah. You got to have gratitude. These people are just angry. And that's the, that's the culture we live in right now. It's a sad situation. Well, it, it's very true on what used to be late night comedy shows. We used to laugh at Johnny oh, yeah. Carson and Jay Leno. Now, all of these guys, they're supposed to be comedians and hosting comedy. They're not funny, and they're angry. Right. And they're just screaming out. Trump's and, ugly. He's fat. He's orange. Yeah. There's, no, there's, no, there's no creativity anymore. It's not no. funny anymore. If I say Biden could throw his own surprise party. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then I'm a racist, uh, you know, that's I, 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 hate, hate speech, right? So the left... Uh, has done a great job of defining the narratives in this world and, the, the, and it's against their agenda. And it's a small vocal few of them, but then, nonetheless, you've got to abide by it because you've got to be really careful out there. You know, we, we've talked, and it's a lot of this stuff is funny because it's the only way you can cope with it is to laugh at it. It's so ridiculous. But there is a serious side of all this, and that is that the woke cancel culture is really dangerous mm -hmm. to free speech, to the Constitution, does it worry you that people are going to say, that Ron Hart is dangerous, he's a racist, we got to get him out of all these newspapers he's published in? I got kicked out of our Panhandle papers. The Gannett papers kicked me out. Uh, they were owned by Gannett, USA Today, which hmm. is, if you've never seen USA Today, it's a cartoon, like a coloring book. <laughs> it's supposed to be a newspaper, but anyway, they kicked, they kicked me out. So I'm still a 55 newspaper, just fine. But, you know, it's, the cancel culture is a weird situation because the, you, you have freedom of speech in America right now, Correct. As sure long have. as Facebook, Twitter, yeah. the HR department, you know, the feds are okay with what you say. It's not, it's not free speech if everybody has to okay what you say. No longer, you know, no one wants to have debate. They want to call you racist, put you in the corner so you can't say that. And then it stifles free speech. I mean, Hitler did it in, in Nazi Germany. So, you know, the, the night of the long knives got rid of all of his opponents. It's, 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 it's a slippery slope. And I, 
I've already picked out my re-education camp. I don't know if you have it. No, I, where's <laughs> yours going to be? I may want to go. You'll be funny to listen to. The Boot, <laughs> boot Hills in Missouri. I think that's where I'm going to go. Oh, okay. It's really nice, yeah. The prison would be hard on me because there are no gangs that have financial advisors who also like to play golf. There's no gangs that, <laughs> in prison. So. There's probably not. I know, so I, I'm going to have a hard time. You know, you and I both grew up at the time when people on college campuses were rioting to have free speech, and now they're rioting to make sure they don't. Uh, before I let you go, you do some stand-up. Is I mean, not just yeah. writing, but you do stand-up well, stand comedy, up comedy too, yeah. clubs. And you write about the free speech. I mean, on, on the on the campus, you know, like and, and also the war. They were against. The, we were against the war. I, I'm a libertarian. I was, yeah. I was against the wars early on. And Biden, first thing he does instead of COVID relief and all this other stuff, he, he, he bombs Syria. Yeah, he's dropping a lot of bombs for a guy that owes me fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, we gotta have you come back and do a stand-up routine for us. Love your columns. I hope everybody reads you. Everyone in America who has an open mind and a funny bone needs to be reading Ron Hart. And uh, you can follow Ron Hart on Twitter at Ronald Hart. Also, check out RonaldHart.com. It is a one-stop shop because right there you can read all of his columns and you are missing some great stuff if you're not already doing that.